No matter how or where your device is shipped, it is important to ensure your product will survive the rigors of being transported around the world. There are a number of standards recognized by FDA and global regulators, including ISO 11607 and ASTM D4169, which are used to guide the development of a test plan. ASTM D4169 provides several standardized testing pathways, which represent a range of packaging configurations and distribution conditions. One of the most common workflows is Distribution Cycle 13, or DC-13, which simulates representative distribution challenges for a single package up to 150 pounds shipped via intercity air and local motor freight. At our state-of-the-art laboratory, we test many different standard and custom distribution cycles, including DC-13, which consists of a prescribed sequence of performance challenges to simulate rough handling, vehicle stacking, loose load vibration, low pressure exposure, as would be seen in an unpressurized cargo plane or mountainous transit, a second round of vehicle vibration, concentrated impact, and a second round of rough handling. The equipment used in this laboratory very precisely simulates these various distribution scenarios. For example, the drop testing is conducted from specific heights, depending on box weight and geometry, and samples are dropped on their face, edge, and corner within two degree of the target axis. Similarly, the vibration table is programmed to follow a well-defined profile of amplitude and frequency to mimic the bed of a truck, plane, or train, including nuanced aspects of the transit such as air turbulence or potholes in the road. When working with a testing laboratory to define a test plan, it is also important to consider the environmental conditions your packaging will encounter during transit. Packaging materials, including corrugated shippers, adhesives, and inner unit packaging configurations can perform differently when exposed to conditions of extreme cold, heat, and humidity. Thus, cycles exposures to arid, tropical, or cold geographic zones should be simulated in controlled chambers as a part of the testing sequence. If you are finalizing your packaging designs and preparing to conduct your validation work, our team of engineers is ready to work with you to ensure your product gets to its destination in the same condition it leaves your facility. Contact us to ensure your device will survive the rigors of global transit.